Today, a guilty verdict for the so-called NorCal rapist. Jurors deliberated for about two hours, finding that Roy Waller is responsible for attacks on at least nine women. NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen was in that courtroom in Sacramento today as the convicted rapist cringed when the verdict came down. Since his 2018 arrest, 60-year-old Roy Waller has repeatedly denied that he was the NorCal rapist who kidnapped, tied up, and raped at least 10 women in six Northern California counties between 1991 and 2006. But jurors didn't buy it. So it was open closed. Michael H. says after seeing hundreds of pieces of evidence and hearing testimony from survivors, it didn't take long for the jurors to come back with a verdict of guilty on all counts. The DNA can't sh show up at every rape case and you, you're innocent. No video cameras in the courtroom for the trial or the verdict, but still photos and a court artist captured the scene as Waller shook his head in disbelief at each of the 46 guilty verdicts. A court employee handed out tissues to survivors, one who told NBC Bay Area that she was elated to see Waller squirm in his seat and shake his head. It just felt so good. It felt so good and just it looked like he, maybe he was crying last night. Theresa Lane was 30 when she was attacked in her Vallejo home in 1990. Waller also kidnapped and attacked women in Sonoma and Contra Costa counties and in the Sacramento and Chico areas, leaving survivors with mental scars that may never heal. Feel like there's some things that will never, you know, go away, but he's he's going away. So jurors were also touched by the survivors who bravely recounted the attacks in open court during the month-long trial. It was it was heartbreaking. Tear dropping what them young ladies had to go through. Defense lawyers declined to comment, and prosecutors were brief after the verdicts. Justice would def definitely be served. Waller remains locked up in the Sacramento County Jail with no bail set as he awaits sentencing. Waller's sentencing is scheduled for December 18th, a week before Christmas. Survivors told me they hope he gets multiple life sentences. In Sacramento, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News. Thank you, Tom.